What's going on guys, this is Star. Today I'm showcasing more lightsaber duels in Battlefront 2. And the focus of today's video is one of my new favorite moves to do in a one versus one. And that's the double hook swing. At this stage in the game, most players know what a hook swing is, but if you're newer to Battlefront or if you need a refresher, it's a camera trick where you jump through your target, flick the camera in a 180 so you're looking back at them, and you hit them in the back with a saber attack mid jump. It's a staple move in duels. I've got a few videos talking about them already. The double is the exact same thing, except obviously you throw two attacks out there instead of one, and it's more about the timing than anything else. Oh god, it's so good. <laughs> nice. I should have known he had it. That was a picture perfect double hook swing for demonstration. I was expecting him to dodge back one more time. You'll notice in today's video I'm playing mostly Darth Vader and Kylo Ren. I don't know exactly why, but those two villains are really good at double hooks. For Vader, it's gotta be the floaty physics he's got when he's jumping, and as for Kylo, his mid-air attack animation is just really smooth, so I feel like it lets you chain the hooks better back to back. In theory, any of the lightsaber users can do this, it's not exclusive to just Vader and Kylo. Just for the purposes of the video, I found it easiest to do it with them. Yoda is also surprisingly good at double hook swings. In that first duel, we were able to take Yoda out. We missed that second hook after we caught him in the choke. And now that I'm thinking about it, that's probably why it's so easy to do with Vader and Kylo specifically, is because they have abilities that set the target up perfectly to get double hooked on. For Vader, obviously, case in point, it's the choke. Nope. Nope. Unless you fail it. Okay, the first one's gonna miss, and the second one's not even gonna go through. Yeah, I missed the first hit, and the second one didn't even register on that one, so that wasn't a very good example of it. But, if you can catch them in the choke with Vader, or if you can freeze them with Kylo, they are perfectly set up for a follow-up, and I think that's actually why they're so good at the double hooks. Finish him! Mm, so good. There we go. We ate a lot of damage in that exchange with Luke, but we were able to catch him in the choke and finish it with the double hook. I guess now's as good a time as any to sort of break the move down and show you guys how exactly I do it. A while back, I put out a tips and tricks video that talked about the bunny hop in Battlefront 2. As you can see with Vader, it's a very simple move. You time your jump while holding the block button. That's very important. You have to hold block. You time your jump for when your feet hit the ground and you can keep jumping theoretically forever. To do the double hook swing, all you gotta do is throw an attack in there, in between the jumps. It sounds simple, in theory, but like I said, it's all about the timing. If you miss the timing, you actually will not do the jump attack, and you'll do a late attack after your feet touch the ground. It definitely takes practice, probably a little bit more practice than most other moves in the game, but once you get the timing down, you basically got it down. And the timing, as far as I can tell, is pretty universal across characters. So once you get it down with one of them, you can probably do it with all the others. This was a pretty quick duel against Anakin Skywalker. We ran him out of stamina, ran him out of health, and just attacked. <laughs> and I know a lot of you guys who watch the channel don't see the toxic side of the Star Bazaar too often, but here's some toxic Darth Vader gameplay for you. I even put star cards on for this duel. I know some of you guys actually like seeing the toxicity, so this could be a little treat for you. This duelist kind of annoyed me in the last match because he was unnecessarily toxic after I lost to his opponent. It wasn't even him who got me, so that's why I had to show this guy a thing or two. Yeah, 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 with the tea bags with Darth Vader. So I'm just trying to get under his skin, make him screw up a little bit here. I'm looking for an opening for the choke, but he's keeping his block high. Activate Focus Rage. Trying to open him up a little bit with some attacks. He does get a parry there, though. Gotcha. But timed that choke perfectly and parried with it. Tasty double hook swing. Yeah, man, it's so smooth, especially out of the choke and the freeze. And Vader's are vicious, too, because they're taking the damage from the choke and then the two attacks afterwards. And that's honestly probably why it's so good. Bitch. <laughs> a little bit of toxic Darth Vader gameplay for you. But yeah, man, that's why the hook swing is, or the double hook swing is so good, because each hook does approximately 150 damage when you're hitting them in the back, that is. If you hit him in the front, it's like 120 to 130, but hits in the back are about 150 a pop. So if you're landing two back to back, that's 300 damage to the face. That's nearly half of most Saber Heroes health bars. That was a really smooth double dodge into the choke. And another tasty double hook swing after that. Parry him with the Saber throw. This man doesn't know what to do right now. Caught him with that attack. 
So yeah, definitely more devastating with Vader when you add in that choke damage. But again, Kylo's are nothing to scoff at. And Kylo actually has some star cards that boost his damage, depending on the situation that you're in. Either Resilience or I think it's the Power of Darkness that boosts his Saber damage after Frenzy. Regardless, both Vader and Kylo are great for this. Once again, caught him cleanly in that choke. I missed the second attack. I missed that second hook. Oh, yeah, yeah, there I said it in the live comms. Yeah, we hit him with that first one, and had we landed that second, it actually would have ended the duel in spectacular fashion right there. We found that angle. Got some more damage into him. He is on the ropes. Clean hook swing into the back. I honestly don't know how he's surviving. Luke's health regeneration is pretty damn good. Landed that saber throw. I actually should have thrown the choke in there. That was a good knock on his part. Missed that choke. I expected the onslaught to keep coming. I figured he was going to either attack or rush. Missed that saber throw. Caught him with that hook swing, though. <laughs> Some weird physics for you. Gotta love Battlefront 2. Again, just trying to open him up. I didn't have my choke, otherwise I would have thrown it out there after the rebulls. Still doing consistent damage, though. Of course, my attack's not going to connect. Still looking for an opening to throw that choke out there. I noticed he stopped attacking as recklessly as he was before because I was just parrying everything he was doing, and the fact he's on low health, it really discourages him from dropping his block, so he's really picking his shots wisely here, but at the end of the day, it's not going to matter. I really should have caught him with the choke after that repulse, but the parries work just fine, and uh, there's some toxicity for you. This is the last duel for the video. This is Anakin Skywalker taking on himself. Uh, not really any double hook swings to speak of in this duel. This is more just me being a bully with Darth Vader because, I don't know, I was feeling toxic and when you get in that state of mind, it's kind of hard to break it. That was a really clean choke though out of the pull. He missed the pull and I caught him in that choke. I think that second hit actually missed on the double hook. Once again, I could have finished it right there. Oh, I remember why I was being so mean to this guy. He was trying to pull me into the pit right there. He was trying to ledge me. If you go over that railing, you'll actually die. So that's what he was trying to go for. So I said, fine, you're going to try to ledge me. I'm just going to spam on you. Love to see it. I figured he wanted me in the pit, so I'd help him out there. But that's the video, guys. Drop a like if you learned something new about hook swings and double hook swings. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. In the comments section below, let me know if you've got the hang of double hook swings yourself. Or if there is another move in Battlefront 2 that you want me to go over, let me know and I'll make a video on that as well. I kind of like doing these breakdown videos where it's a combination of both gameplay and kind of walking through the move itself. I'm, I'm liking this style. But if you guys are too, let me know. Once again, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.